what's up guys it's a hot day here in south florida and yeah i've been outside i'm sweaty so i'm gonna be reviewing this right here it's um i've had it for about a month but i still got all the stickers on it i don't know i'm one of those people i leave everything on it leave it looking mint condition you know what i'm saying let's say you're a mobile detailer and you want to dry the car off faster because that is key in you know making more money saving time and you know what i'm saying money time is valuable time is money so there's that situation then you're just like a homeowner you know cutting the grass stuff like that or you are actually in your own landscaping business you know and you want to use it on every day pretty much with the uh, on and off use so all right so i'm gonna be testing it out first on the landscaping side how it can blow the grass you know it's pretty strong in that sense so i'm gonna cut the grass right here you know what i'm saying around the edge and usually when i do that it blows all of it onto the concrete so you'll get a good example of how good it blows i got some dirt dust uh here's a whole bunch of dirt i could test it on right here and i got leaves back there too i could test it on all right, so this does have two modes and I got a little bit of grass, it ain't too much, but, and then of course the dog's just gonna walk right into the way, get blowed, but he'll run away. So I'm gonna do it first on low. You know, it's well capable of that. For grass, I don't think you have to move it any higher than one. But, You know that's that's decent just for grass or leaves it's okay so now i got this on number two check this out it just it shoots everything i figure what better example to let's do it on this right here I'll leave all the toys and everything right here. Let's see what it does. That was pretty strong. All right, so now I'm gonna test it out on these leaves right here. I'm gonna do one at first, then I'll do two. So for the average homeowner, you know, trying to do stuff around their house, this is perfect for it. It's a 10 out of 10. The battery is long life. I forgot to mention, I'm not using the 3.0 that is, uh, you know, recommending. I'm using the 5.0. So I don't think there'll be anything different in power wise. Only it's just how long it'll last on a single charge. You know what I'm saying? All right, so another reason why a lot of people would be buying this is for detailing. You know, when you're in and out of jobs and you want to move on to the next one quick, but the car is wet still. And it's It's hard to tell i'm using a very bad uh car to do it on you know what i'm saying it's a white you won't see the water deflect on it so well but what i like more about this than using it on the paint because i'm gonna keep it real there's definitely better ones to disperse the water out here on the paint you need more um cfm this has like a 200 and something mid 200s but what i really like about it is on the tires okay you know you want to apply the tire shine but you don't want to do it when it's wet so I'll, this right here is perfect you go in one tire you know what i'm saying you it hit it really quick. good for you know if you're just a homeowner and you just you know want to tackle your jobs around the house it's really good as far as you know using this every day longevity wise i don't really have an answer in that sense but so far abusing it you know a little bit and it still runs good so i could say that it's all right 
you'll definitely get your 50 bucks worth mobile detailer it's a good starter one to have it's not the best one to have like if you have the money you might as well go ahead and buy the i think i saw one from ryobi or you know something with more cfm than this because it displaces the water but it doesn't really like fling it off the car you know what i'm saying it doesn't really like you know it just moves the water somewhere else so your car kind of still stays wet in some areas which is unfortunate you know but like i said for the tires it's really good it's really good you know if you're gonna add that tire shine to speed up the process of the drying because usually you know what i'm saying tires don't really dry that quick unless you're in the hot sun but uh yeah me i would give this a let's just say in, in the mobile detailing aspect, I give it like a, a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. And then, but a homeowner, I give this a 10 out of 10. You need to go buy this right now if you're a homeowner. And um, and like in the landscaping business, I'll give it an 8 or a 9. I'll give it a 9 just because I don't really know much of uh, the longevity wise. If you can use this every day and how long, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a good one. Um, Thank you for watching the video. If, and if you want me to review anything else, go ahead and put that down in the comments. All right.